working together in Chicago parks, fostering partnerships and alliances. Welcome to Chicago at Play. People are swarming to the Garfield Park Conservatory this summer to understand why all the buzz about bees. Now they don't want to sting because each time a bee stings you, it dies. So, so do they know that? Hate the Bees is such a great opportunity because you learn about bees and you learn that no, they're not going to attack you. They don't want to hurt you. They just want to protect their honey, which we like to eat. Meet the Bees is actually on July 23rd from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. It is a nominal $3 suggested donation, but uh, children three and under are free, so um, bring out the family, uh, come explore our different stations. We'll be making flower fans, you can learn a bee dance. A really exciting thing is you get to taste honey from all over the world, but you also get to taste honey made right here in Chicago. We have some great honey that our bees make for us here, and if you have any allergies or want to boost up your immune system, it's a great way to do it. And and it's mighty tasty, so you can't beat that. This is kind of a celebration of the start of that sweetness, so um, we're inviting families out um, to celebrate with us, and that involves hands-on activities, it involves visiting with our volunteer beekeepers, um, learning all about um, the importance of honeybees and pollinators and the food that we eat and in the flowers that we love and um, just having a good old-fashioned good time. And we'll have live music and we'll have um, hands-on activities, we'll have education stations and uh, beekeepers on hand to answer all of your questions. Make a beeline to the Garfield Park Conservatory on Tuesdays and Saturdays and see the volunteer beekeepers tending to their hives. We actually manage beehives and so every hive has up to 50,000 bees in it so if you can multiply that by 15 you get a lot of bees. So our volunteer beekeeping program is active throughout the season April through October and they do um, as well as managing the hives that are in public areas and um, behind the scenes they do an educational program on Tuesdays and Saturdays uh, called Bees at Work. So you can stop in at the conservatory um, on any Tuesday and Saturday during the season and see them at work and they usually will have a hive open and you get a chance to actually see a frame come out and see the bees on the frame, see some honey. Sometimes you even get to spot the queen which is really cool and ask the beekeepers questions about what they're doing. This is a brew chamber, this is the honey super, and this is an uh, inner cover. Ta -da. Don't be a drone. Beginner beekeeping classes will help you brush up on the basics. A lot of people really do want to learn about beekeeping, but are a little bit hesitant to do it on their own. So um, one thing that we do is we offer a beginning beekeeping class, and that enables you to be a volunteer here when we have an opening. And it's all about the basics of beekeeping, what's going on in the hive, how to build a hive, how to maintain a hive, bee history, bee biology, really a broad strokes on the basics of beekeeping. For people who want to kind of get their feet wet with bees, but also want a little bit of guidance and uh, uh, social interaction as well. It's a great opportunity. We get to look at the hives together. We get to help bees, which we're all you know wanting to do here, and learn from one another. For more information about Meet the Bees and other beekeeping programs, visit www.garfield-conservatory.org. Like all the other programs that we do here, we, we try to uh, invoke some community involvement and beekeeping is, is a great activity for our volunteers to do. People that are um, you know, environmentally conscious and want to do more with the environment and also do more at the conservatory. A lot of people in the city don't have as many opportunities to really understand how the natural world works and um, tending bees and keeping bees actually opens your eyes to the way the natural world is working around us, even in an urban setting. And so once you start opening your eyes to the way the world is around us, you actually start opening your eyes to lots of other kinds of things like gardening, like, like uh, composting, like other kinds of sustainable activities that you can do right here in Chicago.